How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Here we go. Instagram, what you are tripping for the last week. <laughs> but anyways, happy Friday, family. Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. The weekend is here. Another fast week has gone by. And um, as I always say, it's all good in the neighborhood. As they say in Texas, everything's chicken with the bone, especially because I'm at home. Now, today's word of the day is narcotic, which is stands for a drug or the substance that affects mood or behavior and is considered for non-medical purposes, especially one sold illegally. Um, I chose this word today because with the death of DMX, with the death of Michael K. Um, Williams, with the death of Shot G, um, I'm not a fan of drugs. Especially, I'm not a fan of illegal drugs. I'm not trying to be judgmental to those who partake in it, but a lot of good people are affected medically, you know, mentally, physically. Um, even if they're still living, a lot of times people don't have all their bodily functions. And I'm not trying to give out any medical information because I'm not a nurse nor a doctor nor a medical practitioner on any level. But we are, you know, we're seeing more and more because we live in the information slash you know, digital age, we're seeing more and more people who are affected by all sorts of drugs on all levels. And um, the fact that so many great people are being taken out of this world by the time they get in their 50s, and they still have a lot of life to live. But I think, unfortunately, a lot of them feel that they don't have any more life to live. And, you know, depression is real, too. And I know that takes, a, you know, plays into a factor. Addiction is real. That plays into the factor of a lot of things. Um, and I think it's sad that, you know, you have great people like Michael K. White, DMX, Shaji, and countless others that, you know, people that are not quote unquote famous that are le that have left this earth due to drugs on all levels. Um, for me, I say the pandemic has made me want to take my health way more seriously, you know, um, trying to take more vitamins i'm trying to you know protect my immune system on all different levels um you know i've always wanted to work out but i feel like within the last two years i've been working out um that much more you know not to, to try to brag or any of that nonsense but to actually try to um you know actually try to take care of myself i'm not trying to you know i don't do all that bragging nonsense that's a lot of people like that i'm a humble guy i like i, I like a humble mindset i'll leave it at that but, and I, I'm kind of rambling, but at the end of the day, take your health as seriously as possible, family. Um, not everybody's going to look like a supermodel. Not everybody's going to look like a bodybuilder. I don't look like a bodybuilder, so that's why I can say that. Um, but everybody can do their darndest to drink a lot more water. Everybody can do their darndest to incorporate some fruits and vegetables. Everybody can do their darndest to take a walk or just walk on a treadmill. You don't even have to be that person that's doing all the jumping and up and down and, you know... Um, you know, jumping jacks, burpees, you know, um, I think people can try planks, people can try sit-ups, people can do, you know, uh, push-ups, you know, there's plenty of gyms with regular weight machines. I mean, heck, nowadays you can just order, you know, regular weights and stuff from Amazon <laughs> uh, or any other um, outlets and things of that nature, like even from my online store, but that's neither here, neither here or there. My point is, do your darndest to do your own research to be as healthy as possible because everyone's body is different. Everyone's mindset is different and everyone's um, limits are different. However, just trying to be a little bit more healthier and staying away from all nar uh, you know, ar narcotics as much as possible is in your best interest. That's all I can say on that one. Um, because unfortunately, too many people have been taken away from this world due to narcotics and more and more people will be taken away from this world due to addictions of, of narcotics and various other things. So... That's all I'm saying. Just try try your best to, you know, to be as healthy as possible. I know it's it's easier said than done, but, you know, I mean, this is your life at the end of the day. I can, no one can live it for you. You know, I always say you're the CEO of your own life, so you got to make the calculated CEO decisions. It's not your boss's place to make calculated CEO decisions. It's your place. So it's the same thing goes hand in hand when it comes to your um, health. You know, it's, it's the, the things you do every day. Say, so, you know, health and wealth have a lot in common, but your health is number one, your wealth is number two, but it's daily routine and daily actions. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of rocket science. 
but it, it's daily routine and daily actions and the willingness to want to learn, not thinking that you know everything. You know, because the crazy thing is, the richest people on the planet on all levels know that they have something new to learn every single day, including myself. Today's quote of the day is by Langston Hughes, stated, Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. And I couldn't agree with that statement more because a life without dreams is basically a life not worth living. A lot of people become complacent and get comfort. I always say the comfort zone is a death sentence. People just don't realize it. But uh, and a lot of people are retired before the age of 60 because they're like, well, you know, especially if they're getting a good cushy job, you know, they have the overpriced house and the overpriced car. They get very comfortable very easily. And a lot of them are very retired. And the reason why they're retired is because their life is very routine. When it talk, when you talk about growth, the growth levels are usually mediocre um, or just basic. And, um, you know, when you talk about um, collaboration, there is none. It's, it's all about the individualism. And as an individual, you can go but so far. But as a team, you can go so much further. So, but anyways, um, this video went a lot longer than I expected. But have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. You know, um, continuously make money moves from the health aspects to the wealth aspects. You know, I just bought some shares of stocks today. And, um, you know, and I'm about to go work out after I eat my lunch. So, you know, I'm trying to take care of my health and wealth all at the same time. And I employ you all to do the same thing. So as I always say, folks, make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care.